Welcome back, my friends. I am always fascinated by some of the most creative tools out there. In fact, I have one right here. It's actually a little, it could be my gym workout today, actually. I like this. Anyway, to the point. The point is, tools like that are really sometimes, often, maybe difficult. Yes, very difficult. <laughs> very difficult, as the true expert would say. They look great, they work great, but there's a lot of engineering that goes into this to make it work for you out there. And I got Andrew with me today. We got some screens with us today to see some of the details behind how these products work for you in your shop. Andrew, did I summarize that okay? Pretty much, yes. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to learning more of the details behind the scenes because while I've played in the CAD CAM world, I've never done quite as much as you, so I'm excited to learn with you today. Yes, yep. Um, one of the best things with Maple, what we do with our customers, our machine builders, is we have all the capabilities here when we get a fixture model with a part. We can do all of our tool interference checks way before any of the manufacturing is done. This way the customer is well aware that they don't have to worry about getting a finished product and not being able to reach their parts that need to be machined. It could be anywhere from a fixture clamp to something on the casting of the part that you don't foresee. So in our 3D world, we can check all these things right in the beginning. And Andrew, this is can, an example. I, I can already immediately appreciate that because I've definitely received tools that didn't work or didn't fit or didn't go with my work holding yep. or whatever, fixturing, whatever it might be. The fact that you do that ahead of time to prove it all out instantly saves me time and most importantly, stress. Stress, absolutely. And that's our goal in Maypal is to make sure our customers are happy, satisfied, first part good part that is our goal yeah and you got a great customer service department over there as it, well I was just yes, talking we to do. some of your folks yes. I think you have several screens pulled up here and, and I want I'm ready to learn even dive even more into what you have to do on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure everyone is happy as you mentioned because yep. I know that's important correct now another thing is we talk about balancing balancing is very important in the cutting tool industry ever had an imbalance tool not here. <laughs> Not here. He's, he knows what he's yes. doing. I have had an imbalance tool. It destroys so much, whether it be yep. my part, my fixture, my cutting tool, whatever yeah. it might uh, be. All the way down to your bearings on your machine. Everything is, is important with the balance in the world. And then with our software, we can actually statically and dynamically balance right here on screen. It speeds up production, so when it goes down to production, when the tool's finished, they might make have a little tweak on the balancing machine, but they don't have to be like the old days, mill off a certain section and say, well, took too much off. Now I gotta take material on the other side. We can do this directly in our software in instantaneously. We can also calculate tool weight, uh, tilting moment. This way we don't have tools flying out of the machines because they're too heavy and all these things that are just not good. Tools can be very expensive, and you don't want a tool to go flying out of your machine. Which so, I have had happen before, I gotta be honest. Correct. So we can take care of all this calculations right here in our software. It's amazing to me how far software has come, if I'm being honest, Andrew, because yep. this was, as you mentioned, and something I've seen many, many times is, oh, I've cut something too much, now we gotta start over, or Correct. this imbalance is creating imperfections everywhere, and I just invested in this half a million dollar, a million dollar machine, I just destroyed the bearings because it didn't, wasn't spinning perfectly. 100%. And the ability to, to the, the precision that's required in our engineering world right now to get these parts to our customers, this is the type of thing that can, again, going back to stress, save that stress, save that time, save those machines. What else do we have going on here? Well, and another thing that we do is we have the capability of 3D printing. Oh, now um, that world we can get creative. Yes, you can basically do anything you want. Um, this particular tool is for an MQL application. Um, it had to be lightweight. And with MQL, every outlet is important on how it's directed, the size of it. So in this world, we can actually make curved holes. Because obviously everybody knows you can't drill a curved hole, but in our 3D world, when we 3D print, it's a lightweight tool, the tool's not too heavy. All these things play a factor in these tools. And now with this, MQL outlets are perfect, tools function perfectly, and just everything about it is exactly what the customer wants. I want a tool that goes in, I don't want, it can't be too heavy, I need my outlets to be right, 
and in here we can do this. You know my wheels are spinning right now. If you know anything about me, Andrew, instantly I'm going, how did we even make curved drill holes before additive manufacturing? And then I go back in my head and go, wow, you are answering every question I might have had as a machinist or as an engineer to make sure my components are going to be good. You mentioned weight as well. You Correct. mentioned the details. I'm going to say it again just because it's important how much stress, how much satisfaction is a client and partner working with Maypal going to have working with you to make sure this works, especially in these complex world of automotive yes. and aerospace. I mean, wow, this is really def definite. De defiant is that a word defiant leave it in the comments <laughs> this is defiant work it helps us understand really what's going on correct and with some of the other things that we can do in the maypal group is we have different back boring tools i'm going to show you this oh no you didn't now this tool is perfectly <gasps> balanced for so we can add the material in here i got a nice i-beam construction so we're nice and stable with the tool so we don't have a lot of deflection. This tool right here can hold plus minus five microns all day long. That's incredible. So it's it's a benefit to everybody with this. Uh, I, I, you guys have almost never seen me speechless and I wanna ask, well, this didn't come out just yesterday. There's a lot of engineering that goes into a product like this. I think this is what sets Maypal apart, right? It's oh, yeah. your diversity, your Correct. uniqueness, your flexibility to create, but not just create, create with precision to make sure people are taken care of. When I see a tool like this, instantly I go, what? well, I haven't seen that before. Yep. Or I created it on my own and it didn't quite work like I wanted it to work. Yep. You guys are doing it all here. Yes, first, first part, good part. That's our goal. Wow. I'm truly impressed. Is there anything else we have to show off today? Because I want I want to keep going because I'm learning so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, and again, we have certain tools that have to, similar to this, but have to come reach in through work pieces. We can give the, the customer a cutting scheme, give them the whole parameters on how they need to reach in and still have a stable cutting tool, which helps them. It helps the programmer out. He doesn't have to do the math. We have it all right there for them. They know how to approach it on the angles. That way they can get back to zero, back machine, come back out. We do all that for them. That there's nothing for the programmer on the machine builder side to program it. We've already done that for them. We have that capability here. All right, Andrew, I'm gonna close this whole thing out with a question that you might not like because you might be held responsible for it, but it's my <laughs> curiosity just breaming through to learn more and that's Pretty much, if I have a part in my facility and I I want to bid on a job, or I'm, I'm bringing a job in, I'm having just so, all sorts of issues, whether it's compliant or not compliant, or I can't reach an area, can I just give you guys a call? And because you guys have so much custom and precision that you can say, let us work on that, let us give it a look, and chances are you'll be able to work it out for me yep. without me having to stress about it. Absolutely. I did it again with stress, by the way. Absolutely. We enjoy that. We love that. We thrive on that to make sure everybody's happy. If they're having issues, you come to Maypal, we will come up with a solution for you, no problem. Uh, perfect, my friend. I love this interview. I've learned so much today. For everyone watching, what I've took for this, other than Andrew's amazing and so is Maypal, and they can pretty much do whatever they want. Uh, if you're having an issue and you're being stressed out, and I think the over under on me saying stress was four, so I lose. Uh, but if you're being stressed out in your facility and you just, you're trying to reach those price points, you're trying to get those jobs, but you just need that engineering expert on your side, that's where Andrew and Maypal come into play. So reach out, stop trying to fight it yourself. Stop scrapping parts on trial runs. Reach out to that partner that can help you succeed on the first go and become profitable like you want to be on jobs that are unique. Andrew, thank you so much for your time. Truly appreciate it. Yep, no problem, guys.